This is what Florida's coral reef looked like in the 1970s. I was lucky enough to see it when it was healthy. My children just saw it right before it really started to decline. But you know, I don't think their children will unless we can do something. The fish populations were strong. The shell populations were amazing. Lobster were everywhere. I mean, it was, it was just, I know that was my ground zero when I first saw it. But it was, uh, you know, it's been over the years we've seen spurts of degradation. Now, much of the coral that makes up the world's third largest barrier reef is dead or dying. Warming waters and disease are destroying it and threatening the economy that relies on it. Marine biologists from the Nature Conservancy showed the Washington Post some of the dead and diseased coral off Key Largo. In the Florida Keys and Caribbean alone, reefs have been declining since the 1970s, and it's things like coral disease, coral bleaching, poor water quality, and even natural stressors like hurricanes or other tropical storms. So it's, it's like, you know, why does anyone care for the Grand Canyon? any of the other treasures of our country. You know, there's, there's an intrinsic value just in the fact that they are there and they're beautiful and they, they give pleasure, as well as, you know, in this case, it also provides for, a, you know, an amazing economy and a delicious source of healthy food. You need to measure them. You gotta gauge them. Mimi Stafford, who was a marine biologist and now works as a commercial fisherman, has served on several advisory boards in hopes of preserving the reef as well as the fishing industry in the Florida Keys. Yeah, it's warm. The water's really warm. I'm concerned. I believe that the emphasis is not on taking care of the environment, and, and that worries me for the future, for our population, for all the other animals that don't really have a say in this. Most of our uh, commercially important fish species, particularly down here, are uh, at some point of their life cycle, they depend on reefs. If we were to see this ecosystem collapse, we would see an entire economy collapse here in the Florida Keys. But there may be a way to save and restore the reef before it's all gone. What we've been doing is planting thousands and thousands of these corals that have declined in their populations to reefs where um, restoration is needed the most. Uh, so over the past 10 years, we've outplanted over 30,000 coral fragments to these reefs. And we've seen really great success in the sites that we've planted them on. Some sites haven't been as successful as others, but these are all really important things to understand as we move forward in these restoration programs. What sites work better than others? Why are they working better than others? Um, these are all questions that a lot of people have working in restoration programs, um, and it's something that we can help address in the future. I think we have the intellectual ability to do something about these problems, but you know, if we continue to, to just look the other way and pretend there isn't a problem, we're in, we're in serious trouble. I've, I mean, I've, I've witnessed over 50 years of significant change that is accelerating. And if it continues to accelerate, it's going to be at our own expense. We're in peril.